Hey folks, in this brief video I want to walk you through how to insert equation numbers into a Word document. This is Word 2016. I'm going to use a technique um, that I call the table method. It's a technique that I've been using for some time, but I'm recording just so I don't forget how to do this. What I do to insert equation numbers is I go and uh, into a document where I want to insert an equation that I want to have labeled with an equation number. I'm going to insert a table, and I choose a table with uh, three columns and one row. Um, I adjust the first and the last columns to be about a half inch. I actually want them to be the same size so that the equation is centered. And in the final column, um, I'm going to insert my delimiters that I'll use to surround my equation uh, number. And then I go under Insert um, to the Quick Parts option in the Insert ribbon. And I'm going to choose a field, and I'm going to go down to the Sequence field give it an identifier which I'll use EQ for equation and hit OK and now it's inserted a number in there what I will then do is go to the middle cell um, and that's where I'm going to insert my equation so I would go under insert and click equation and then I can begin typing the equation there um, I do want to make sure that my cells are centered so what I typically will do is highlight the cell and click um, layout and then choose to have both my vertical and horizontal centering turned on for each of the cells but I could insert the equation right here. Um, I also will want to have the borders turned off so on the home ribbon tab if you go and uh, select on your border options to have no border it turns off those border options there. Now so that you don't have to do this every single time what I typically will do is create a quick text or a quick parts option by going and highlighting the text that I just created um, with no equation in there right now uh, but I go under insert to the quick parts and I'm going to create an auto text um, by saving that selection to the auto text gallery give it a name let's call it insert equation click OK and now when I'm elsewhere in that same document I can go in to this quick parts and use the auto text for insert the equation and it will automatically stick the new equation in there and also renumber them so um, you also have the added benefit that you can go in maybe even earlier in the document and do the same thing um, insert quick parts auto text insert equation now what you will notice is that my numbers don't automatically update every time I insert even though after I put one in sequentially it added the next number but putting one in before it didn't but I can have it update the field and all I've got to do to do that is to select all so I hit control A and then right click anywhere where there's highlighted text and choose update field and now all of those fields will be updated in an earlier version of the video I was asked how I might insert uh, chapter numbers into this document in front of my equation numbers and that can be done as long as you're using chapters in your document so um, for example in this document I'm not using chapter numbers but I could change all my headings this is a heading one style by going under the home tab I can change those to be a paragraph multi-level so say I want to use this 1 and 1.1, 1.1.1 1 .1 for chapter and section. So now I actually have a chapter assigned to that particular section in my paper. In any place that I wanted to add a chapter heading or a section heading in front of this, I could go and insert and I can go under the field and include the chapter field. Actually, that's not where I want to, sorry go under cross-reference and choose um, heading and insert reference to heading number and if I hit insert now it put the heading number in there if I close I can put a point between the two and now that particular heading number is also going to be included there so that if I were to say change that to a different number um, say I change list level to 1.1 notice how um, if I select all and update my field it now includes a full section uh, there the other thing that you can do which I, I find particularly useful here is you can bookmark the uh, equation so say for example I had a particular equation in here that I wanted to include um, let's choose um, I think I can actually pick one the binomial expansion Okay. If I want to refer to this later on, I can insert a bookmark to this by going under Insert, choose Bookmark. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Binome um, Equation. 
and I now click add and if I wanted to then refer to that somewhere else in the document so I want to consider the left hand side of an equation and I want to refer to that equation um, I would insert the delimiters and then go to insert cross reference and now under here I select reference type bookmark and there's my binomial equation and hit insert and if I were to you know add equations before and after whenever I update the field it will automatically update this number as well all right so that's how we can do equation numbers in Microsoft Word and it works in 2010 2013 and even 2016